Welcome to China. Woo! Yes. Lord, it don't leave me all by myself. Lord, it don't leave me all by myself. Lord, it don't leave me all by myself. Lord, it don't leave me. How do you go around the other side of the world? Do you meet someone from Yorkshire? Or Yorkshire? <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking, Tom? What I'm thinking? I'm thinking, if you told me two years ago we'd be in China visiting our suppliers, staying in sick hotels, coming to fancy spots like this, and planning to exit for eight figures, I'd have absolutely believed you. You yeah, boy! <laughs> <laughs> like, like and subscribe, subscribe to Honest, Honest FBA. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> the good thing is, at least we don't stand out. We blend in. <laughs> I ain't gonna get, I'm not gonna lose you, am I? We're on our way. That's our guy. To the Great Wall. Absolutely roasting, guys. Boiling. Mate, end of this. I'm gonna look like that. <laughs> what is it? There's Tom later on. <laughs> Just on the Great Wall. Here we are. Oh. Representing. This is unbelievably steep. I don't know if you can tell on camera. I'm trying here. This is. Look at the size of them calves. <laughs> My little sister's got bigger calves than that. Tell you one thing I noticed, mate, about this Great Wall. It's massive. It's massive. It's absolutely massive. Look how far it goes. I guess, yeah, we could explain why we came to China. We didn't come just, just to for see this. the wall. We actually didn't even think about this till about two days ago, and then realised we were about an hour away from one of the wonders of the world, so we thought we'd better drop by. But the reason we came here is to meet our suppliers for three reasons. One, Guangxi, Guangzhou, Guangxi. Guangxi. You only get really through building relationships. Basically means, I don't think there's a direct translation, or maybe there is, I didn't look it up, but it means like getting to know your, building, a, building getting, a relationship. Getting drunk with your suppliers. Yeah, going for meals, so getting drunk. Get better terms with them. The only way you can do it is seeing them and, and time. So we've been work doing this now for nearly three years. So one of our suppliers, for example, we, we've worked with now for three years, we've never actually met them, never actually even spoke to them on a video call or a voice call. Literally all via WeChat. And it? now we just realized today, maybe they've been translating the messages the whole time. So we hope when we arrive, they do speak English. How do you go around the other side of the world? Do you meet someone from Yorkshire? Or <laughs> <laughs> Yorkshire! <laughs> While we're here. Yeah, so basically we've, we've had some custom products designed that we've had a designer work on in the States and we've sent a couple of uh, ideas to some of our new suppliers. So we're going to visit them this week, see if they're good and we kind of can speed up the whole process because custom stuff takes fucking ages to get through. So if we can knock off a huge amount of time, we can get to market this year with them. And some of the products that we're looking at will easily be million dollar plus a year products. Big money. So the trip. Right, love. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Kobe. <laughs> white men can't jump. <laughs> there we go. Our favourite, our favourite person. Chingao noodle soup. There she is. Hi. Ni hao. Oh. Hi. Let's have a look. Tremendous. This is. I've got you an egg. Incredible. Okay, Shay. Hi. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Best needles in Qingdao. I think one of the funny things about Amazon is even though there's a, so many people that are actually like super successful, like you can literally go on and see all these people selling stuff. It's like people are still skeptical, aren't they? And like we've gone from making a few thousand a month 
to where in a single month we've made over seventy thousand dollars and people are still like skeptical about it and now that we've come to china we've moved our goals like our goals were to have a seven figure exit and come in here meeting our suppliers like looking at custom products that we've made 100 we can we can grow it to eight figures and sell the business for eight figures but when you're first starting out and you're looking on youtube you're looking at all different content and stuff you're kind of skeptical about you know is it is it legit and the answer is yeah <laughs> in Budapest, my, my hidden treasure chest Golden grand piano, my beauty focus EOU Ooh, you, ooh, I'd leave it all Day six, we're on day six and we are in, where Ching, are we? Qingdao. Qingdao. Is it Qingdao or Qing, Qingdao? Qingdao. Qingdao. And it's, no, we're actually in Miami, to be honest. It fucking feels like it, doesn't it? <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. Past few days. We had meetings, we had three days of meetings. Uh, back to back, didn't we? Yeah. So the first a lot of day, travelling. Loads of travelling. We've come down a fair way to the coast now. We started in Beijing, went to Kangzhou, met our main supplier, which was yeah, really interesting. Like it was good. We had a massive lunch, which was like the novelty of it was quite funny on the first day. By the third day of meetings in a row and the third yeah. massive meal in a row. Actually, fourth meal because we had two with our first supplier. They just ply you with so much food. So much food. So much, like the, the first one as well. He was a bit like a bit of a mafia boss or something, wasn't yeah, he? got yeah. like a sort of vibe off him. Yeah. Like very friendly. And also one, one thing that we noticed was like, he was very quiet for the first hour or so. He didn't speak any and he didn't, English. It, it, we, like, it was as if he didn't speak any English at all. And then when we got back to the actual factory to see him to like go around the factory and stuff. He started speaking English, didn't yeah. he? So right now we're in the factory. See Tom there, Tom's doing a bit of chatting while I'm recording. This is so cool, man. You can see all the machines behind us. The boss is over there. You can see him walking out. He doesn't really speak much English, so we're not, we're not chatting to him. This is Candy, the lady that She's like our account manager, she's super nice. So they're over on the other side, making our products now. They just showed us the molds that we purchased. And there's, a, there's literally a guy over there making, they said they can make 600 units a day. So I don't know why it takes them two months to get them ready when they can do that many, but I want to be careful. I don't end up on some Twitter video getting sucked into a machine. <laughs> but this is pretty damn cool, man. Oh, we are in China, baby. So yeah, the first couple of hours, he didn't say anything and we'd speak to our supplier and then she'd translate. Yeah. He was like, I actually thought he was the driver at the start. I didn't realize he was the boss. Well, yeah, because she said to, like, when we, when you went around the side and she said to me, that's, that's, that's our boss. So I, I didn't, because I read, I read in a book before we came, they don't, you haven't got to be polite and address everyone at the table like you do in, in the West. So you just speak to the important person. So. I was kind of ignoring him, to be honest, for the first like hour. We had lunch, we got, went on to their factory, which was really cool to see. So we saw some of our products being made, or yeah. loads of our products were there. So kind of final version, so we did a bit of an inspection. A couple of little things that we, that we wanted them to work on, which was cool, because we could really be strict about it, because it's, it's a new product we've spent 90 odd thousand dollars on. So massive order, and it was, it, we were kind of learned, be super strict at the start, set the high standards, and then they'll keep them. And, and then they were tea. Yeah, oh, man, the tea. tea. Jeez. I mean, so it's a big thing here. Like when you meet the factory owners or, or the boss, whoever is part of it is you meet them and then, you know, you have you go and have tea and they have these like crazy it's tables. Like huh? It's like a ritual, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. They have these like tables that are specifically designed for having tea, don't yeah. they? And yeah, after that, what do we do? More, more tea, obviously. And then we went for dinner. And when you well, go we had lunch dinner, and dinner with them. Lunch no? and, yeah, we did. And we were already still full from lunch, to be honest. But we wanted to get back, to be honest. But we knew they wanted to kind of make an impression. So went for dinner. And when you go for the meals, you always sit in private rooms. So at this gaff, private room with a, a big circular thing in the middle of the table. So they spin, spin the food around, you all share it. The difference between that and say like in Spain, obviously, we're used to sharing like tapas. Here, the portions are probably five times as big 
as tapas. They're so you huge, just order yeah. 10, 15 dishes. And when you first enter the restaurant, they'd show you, it's like chicken's feet, duck's head. Uh, like everything's just like gristly and... Every, all the meat is gristly, isn't it? <laughs> it's like... So they throw away the good bits, basically. Yeah, like I understand like in the West, we, we throw away so much. But here, I, here they eat everything, but they don't, it's like they don't have the good bit. And what, what we also had was this drink. So a friend of mine used to live here and he said, oh, when you get there, tell, ask for, uh, about bijou. And bijou is like this rice wine that's about 40% alcohol. And they, I mentioned it in his office and his eyes just lit up. He runs, yeah. in, he runs <laughs> in the back, comes out with two bottles and he's like, we drink these at dinner. We had all, all bottle, all bottle. I we thought were, he was joking, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, same. Yes, yeah, so if you get there. There's like, no way we're going to drink two bottles of that. And they pour these glass. obviously we've cut this, you see it on this. Pours these glasses that are like 100 mil. It's a massive, like double, was that a, tri was that a quadruple shot? It was, yeah, it was like two, three shots. And, and like, you know, you kind of cheers, drink it, right? And then two minutes has gone by. And then one of them, you have to all drink at the same time. You just go, cheers, like, do it again. And then it got, it got like faster and faster and then we ended up drinking two bottles between me, Alex, and the guy's, the guy's mate called Lee, who was just an absolute machine, wasn't he? Just didn't yeah. get phased. Should I done here? Yeah. Didn't get phased at all. Uh, we were pretty smashed by the end of it. Yeah, what was quite interesting and not good, but it's bad, but funny was they love karaoke here. I absolutely love it. And because you're in these private rooms, they have speakers and a TV. And next door to us, we're just... Maybe that we found that submarine. So oh, wow. that's dark. That's getting that's cut dark. out. That's getting cut out. And, and next door to us was this group doing karaoke and it was just... It was just terrible, wasn't it? They were screaming. Like absolutely screaming. Can you t can you guys tell us like your names and and where you're from? Okay. Yeah, obviously we are twins. <laughs> uh, yeah, and my last name is Lu. Lou. My last name is Lu. My first name is Tian Pong. So do you have, do you have an English name? No, I don't have an English name. Okay. Good, yeah. If, you, if, if a foreign guy wants to talk with me, you can just call my name by my Chinese name. That's cool, man. Well, my name is Lu Tian Tzu, and the last name is Lu. You know, Tian Tzu, uh, this name uh, in China, uh, it sounds like, uh, like a gift from the God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tian Tzu. Yeah, yeah. Tian means uh, God, and Tzu means like a uh, Given, like gave, gave your. Ah, like so you learn English from US. Now these these guys, if you can see me, these guys have the best English of anyone that we've met in China, <laughs> without yeah. a doubt. Oh. So, where, can you tell us how how do you learn such good English? In China, we study English at the class in school. Yeah, but most kids treat it like a, a subject we learn in school. But what I think is uh, English is kind of a language. We need to speak, we need to talk every day. What, you, you, for, for you guys, what, uh, is your, what is your dream in, in the future? For me personally, I yeah. want to be a rap star. You want to be a rap star? I want to be a rap star, come yes. on. Yes. Hey, I you love that. Joji? That's not real. That's not real. real. You know my Joji? And for my dream, I just want to be rich. <laughs> <laughs> yes, brother. Yeah, you want to be rich too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So tell, tell, yeah. How, how, how are you gonna? How, yeah. how do you? How are you gonna get? How do? How do people get? Well, what's your plan to get rich? Yeah. Okay. My main goal, my life goal, is get rich, make, make many, make tons of money. But uh, it's many people may judge me because say I'm too, too love about money. You know, pe people really don't. If you in China and you say. Uh, my my dream is making money, be rich. People will judge you. Uh, we young kids are educated to. Uh, when you grow up, you need to volunteer, devote yourself to the country. Yeah. Yeah. That's not that's not, what we not be to yourself. Yeah. That's what we be educated for. But uh, for my dream, I just want to be rich. Why I want to be rich is because I want my family, my brother, my parents, my grandparents get happy to get a chance to live like a like. 
what they want to believe, mm. want what they want to be. So day day two, day two was the day. Yeah, we got day picked, two of meetings. Yeah. We got picked up. Um, day two of the meetings. Yeah, we got picked up in this really nice Porsche. Porsche. <laughs> Because we came out of that, we like we came to the hotel reception, and we were like, oh, I, I hope that's them, and it was them in this like really nice Porsche, <laughs> and the guy was driving so fast, man. Mate, at one and point he went 180 <laughs> kilometers an hour, which is what's that, 115 mile an hour? Yeah, yeah. So th this one was like way, just like a, a completely different experience. It was like the professional, a little bit more professional. They've obviously they're obviously like a, a bigger company. Um, it was the the general manager Sean. It was his, it was his car that they picked us in. Took us to the office again for some tea. Um, they were explaining. He actually gifted us some tea, didn't he? Which was pretty cool. We've had a gift um, at every every meeting, haven't we? We've had a, a we, massive into gifts. We've dro definitely dropped the ball there. We should have brought some gifts. So yeah, the the, the the this guy. I think he was the boss's, the owner's son, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. He called, was. He was called Sean. Um, had the factory for 50 years. Yeah, the factory was the factory was cool. The factory was like way more professional, wasn't it? And way more like they, they, yeah, they was, produce higher end products. And yeah. this product, you know, this this is a product we've been working on recently that we spent a couple of thousand just designing with a with a designer in the states, and we, we saw, you know, we, this is a product we want to retail for like you know three, four, five hundred bucks. So they produce products for a, a higher end consumer, which yeah, it was reflected on it in how nice the the spot was. Yeah, we went for lunch first, didn't we? We went for lunch and the lunch was the lunch was really good. Yeah, the, the lunch was was really good, yeah. Same sort of food, wasn't it? But there was Well I think it's because it was a I don't know, we're a different, slightly different region. What was surprising was like how and this has been a general thing around the whole trip. Super nice. Like the area was like really clean. There's like vineyards. Interesting. But, but after what what was at, at the lunch we'd said about the night before, we said that we drank a lot of bijou got a bit of a headache you know, a bit, a bit of a laugh and then they almost looked at, I thought they looked a little bit like uneasy because we were showing pictures and then they run to the corner and they've got two bottles of Bijou as well and we're like oh yeah no, we can't drink this 901 Shelby Drive look alive look alive niggas came up on this side now they on the other side oh well fuck them dog we gonna see how hard they ride I get racks to go outside and I split it with the guys we up on the other side niggas acting like we tired and you see this, this geezer here with his belly out. This is like super common in China. So either if you're hot, or I guess if you're showing off you've got money, I'm not sure which. If you're hot as in sexy. Well, you, you guys decide now if you want. That guy nearly took you out, <laughs> smoking his cigarette. I'm going to start walking like this. <laughs> Let's see. Wow. Look at this in it. Oh, God. One of the big things for us is because we're running two businesses we've got the amazon brand and then we've obviously got honest fba is we're really trying to figure out how we can make the, the most use of our time um yes yeah. <laughs> he was right uh, that was sick go on lad he's gonna he's gonna hit a personal best today after that <laughs> isn't he? after you just pumped him up uh, uh, this points? background should look pretty sweet behind us there's like all the skyscrapers it's like a scene out of Godzilla or something. Not just because it's we're in Asia. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Getting cut. Cut. That's getting cut. <laughs> where, where we are right now, we, there's a couple of surf dudes. And, you know, they've got sleeve tattoos, they've got surf shots below us. And there's absolutely no waves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is a bit weird. Wow, look at these. Yes. Damn. So, so which bits are dirty and which bits the banana? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Fisher. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, wow. brother. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it. But that is What's Jesus it called this time? Christ, that is delicious. It's called a Jesus Christ. It's called a banana that dirty. Is delicious. A banana dirty. Ah, you bastard. Yeah. Oh, that's delicious. Isn't it? Mm. Oh, that's, that is banging. Holy shit. To the right hand. See you later. Seeing around everywhere we've been basically is this. There's like, I mean, you can't even see the top of this now, can you? These enormous skyscrapers getting built. And you're on, the, you're on the train or in the car, you go past the city in a distance, and there's 30 of them. And there's like 50 story 
apartment blocks is just absolutely massive. It feels like it feels like they're preparing for an explosion of their economy, I guess. But like, you can see people, people say it online for a while now that China's going to take over, and it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if they did. But it feels like they're not quite there yet, but they're almost they're almost there, and they're going to be completely ready for when it just explodes. Are you talking about World War III? <laughs> All right, take three. Just, yeah, so we've tried to record this twice now and my phone keeps filling up because we don't have any memory, I don't have any memory left. Too many memories made and recorded many, yeah. on the trip. So we're going to make this one quick. Thanks for joining us. Right, I'll, try to get, I'll get going now just, while you're setting yeah, up. Stir you up. Thanks for, thanks for joining. Shout out to Sebastian. Shout out to Sebastian. You always comment on the videos. Thank Appreciate you for doing it. that. We, want to make more content like this we might go to mexico so let us know if you like this kind of shit we will make more and plan more trips away yeah We're gonna make this joke for the fourth time maybe we need to break it, from each other now it still won't be funny <laughs> it's our days in. we're actually going to see each other in two days in london with another amazon seller for a while shout weekend. out Jan Jansen smith. smith he's been a big fan of ours for a while so he'll be happy that we've done a shout out for him we're going to teach him a lot this weekend aren't yeah we? all right we'll see you in the next one do it again boom <laughs> Oh. Uh...